Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a quick process of creating a snow landscaping. If you like it, I'll continue to create similar tutorials for you. Thank you and enjoy watching. In this video I'll show you how to create winter landscape. For the reference I used this picture. Let's start. Launch Unreal Engine 5 and choose blank project. Unreal Engine is launched. Here in Content Browser I create empty level and now I can start creating the winter landscape. I started with the landscape, creating a new landscape. Landscape is ready and now I'll add a light source there. It will be a direct light source. I created a sun. So I add skylight as well for global illumination. One more element that I need to add is sky atmosphere and exponential fog also. In the direct light parameters I need enable atmosphere sunlight. Last one object I have to add is volumetric cloud. There is a house on the reference and I picked up a 3D model similar to this house. Create a geometry folder and import the geometry of the house there. During the import process I choose do not create material and untick generate light maps. Because I'm not going to bake a light. No need to import textures as well. Finding the right place for the house that there are enough space for the environment. And now I can start with landscape. Landscape I do with Unreal Engine standard tools. Behind the house I sculpt mountains. There will be a lake in front of the house. I use a held shift to sculpt in the opposite direction. Change a view for approximately understand where is the right place assets and create camera from the view. Create camera here, Cine camera actor. I'm changing aspect ratio to match with the reference. From the drop down list of LED settings choose 35 mm. Divide the screen into two views. On one side there will be a camera, on the other side there will be a perspective. I'm using the erosion tool to give the mountains a natural look. I decided to make the frozen lake from a shader. So, I don't need lake dipping and I use the flatten tool to flatten the surface of the lake. Now I am working on the coastline to add more details to it and make it look like the reference. At first it may look sharper than it needs to be, but after using the smooth tool I will smooth it out. I'm done with the terrain surface for now and I'll put material on it.
I already have the suitable collection of assets that I used before. I will use it again. Assets are stored in the content folder. Choose what to copy and paste it into your new project. Now you can see all the assets in the content browser and I can use them. Apply shaders to the surface. There are 5 layers. I have to activate them by pressing a plus on each layer. After that I can start painting them on the surface. Right now the ice shader is all over the surface, but instead I am painting the snow shader. Draw the ice shader on frozen water. Along the coastline I paint with a smaller brush. After that, I'll fix the transition between ice and snow by painting wet icy ground. I put snow drifts on ice water. Based on the photo, I add snow in the right places. Already looks like. Add another snow shader to randomize the surface. I apply Megascan's library materials on the house. I don't show the house clothes, so the materials are simple and just about, so that it can be clearly seen from afar. Using the flatten tool I cover the area around the house with the snow surface. It's time to scatter a pine tree. I use three types of pine. I set the appropriate values for the scale of the tree and adjusted the maximum angle and density of the trees. I'll put bigger trees in the back. For randomization I add few types of plants and smaller size of trees.
Plants have LOD. This means that the details of a model change depending on the distance. For maximum quality, turn off LOD. Right now I am back to editing the light and adjust sun position. Hold Ctrl plus L, I am controlling sun position, left right, horizontally, top bottom, vertically. Next I'll adjust the clouds. I opened materials of volumetric cloud and changing few parameters. Features gives me the desired result. I adjust color of sky by changing settings in sky atmosphere. Sky should look more wintry and more blue. The same for fog. It should be more density and has more cold tone. Great! Practically it looks like I wanted. Lastly I put few detailed objects in front. I will be using cassettes from the Megascans library. There will be several rocks adorning the foreground. Adjust sky light settings to make ambient light and shadows soft and brighter. I want to look for good options for the location of the sun and capture them by making a copy. I can turn copies on off and compare different results. The scene is beautiful, so I want to get the most out of the process. Now I add snow. I have right blueprint which making beautiful falling snow. I add it in the scene. Done. Snow is falling and looks nice. I watch how it looks with each of the lights. The last thing I need to do is render. I add a new sequence and add a new camera to it. When setting the video resolution, I use the same resolution as the camera has. In animation parameters, I will set render delay so that the snow reaches the ground and frames are with snow. I started rendering, first with a delay, the engine waits for the snow to reach the ground, after which the frames are saved. I've done the project, it turned out great to me. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon.